This is Michael Mars for the Texas Automotive News Network. Thank you for joining us this week. And if you're a Mopar fan, you've probably already figured out that this week we're talking about the new Challenger. Yes, this is the 2013 Challenger Classic RT. Comes with the nostalgic looking front end as well as the RT package stripes that run all the way down the side and end in the RT designation has the badging. This vehicle rolls on 20s instead of the 14s or 15s that the original models rolled on. And it comes in what we used to call, give me a ticket red, but it's now called a triple coat red line metallic. It has a gorgeous gold metallic in it. It's kind of difficult to pick up without a lot of sunshine on it, but it's really, really shines and is very, very nice. And as you can see, this particular model came with the Hemi in it. So let's take a look under the hood and see what it's got. As you'll recall, back in the day, if it carried the RT designation, it had a big block under the hood. While most of these were 440s, there was the always the optional Hemi. And for our 2013 Challenger RT Classic, we have a 5.7 liter Hemi under the hood. Pumps out 375 horsepower and it's backed by a really slick shifting six speed. Let's take a look at the rest of the car. Here's another shot of that metallic paint trying to pull that up to uh, get it to where you can get a good look at it. It's really, really nice. On the rear of the Challenger, it stays true to form with that uh, little spoiler, the broad tail lights all the way across the back, some big, really nice dual exhaust tips coming out of it that that absolutely say you've got plenty of power here and then the Hemi does make some notes through it. For trunk space, the Challenger's got plenty of room. In fact, uh, it's got a lot more room than some of the other cars in this category. The main thing is it's got a big opening. It's easy to get bigger bags through it. You don't have to kind of stuff them down and through in, get them in there. You can also see from here how the back seats are split. And it will provide an option to uh, fold down to get a little more cargo in there if you really have to haul something besides uh, uh, asphalt that you need a little more room for. Let's go look at the interior of the car. This is the gauge package for the Chrysler RT Classic. Large sweeping gauges for the speedometer and the tack. And of course you got a fuel gauge and your water temperature. But like most modern cars, most of the... Um, Pertinent information comes out in the form of digital readout, which can be set with a menu to uh, driver preferences. Another thing Dodge does real well is put the uh, steering wheel controls in easy reach. Got the cruise right here, got some of the Bluetooth, uh, the menu operations are all right here. But another thing they do real well is they put the audio controls on the back side of the steering wheel so your fingers simply can reach around and control the channels and the volume without ever having to take your hands off the uh, the big fat steering wheel which makes for a great grip in a, in a hot rod or excuse me a sports car. Over on the center stack we've got uh, a nav system. We've got some knobs that are real easy to reach and in, in turn for the uh, climate control and the uh, heated seats or just touch button. The satellite radio, it's got AM, FM, it's got Bluetooth, it's got all the, uh, all the little goodies including a USB port for uh, bringing in your iPod and your own personal music. The six-speed shifter is really cool with the nostalgic pistol grip type uh, shifter. It's um, leather wrapped. Comes on back and there's steering and there's uh, cup holders. There's a glove box that's got room for several items including the USB port and a 12 volt power system. Large glove box over on the passenger side. The door panels have got uh, extra storage in it. And the uh, vehicle that we have this week came with the sunroof or moon, moon roof depending on how you want to call it uh, during the spring and stuff this is pretty nice but during the hot texas summers it's uh something you want to keep closed so we'll deal with that with the little larger body configuration that the new challenger has over the old style it's a lot easier to have a little more interior room one of those areas that really benefit from that is the back seat. For the 2013 model Challenger RT Classic, it's got a 60-40 split seat. 
This also allows to have a center console that folds down a couple of cup holders, a little bit of armrest. Both sides of it will actually fold down so that you can put longer items from the trunk all the way through up to the back of the seat. We'd like to thank you once again for joining us as we look at this 2013 Challenger RT Classic. It truly is a little bigger, a little heavier than the Classic that it's designed after. But with the stripe packages all the way down to the pop top fuel filler on the rear quarter, it really does remind a person of those Mopar Magic years. If you get a chance to take one for a drive, we really would encourage it. It's a nice vehicle. It'll get you there, and it'll get you there quick. Thank you again for the Texas Automotive News Network. This is Michael Mars. Travel safe.